Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. So I got a bit of a different video for you than what I've been doing of late. This is something that I've been wanting to get into for a very long time, probably since my childhood and getting back into photography and also videography. So after a lot of research, settled on a used Panasonic G9. I got a couple of used lenses, the 12 to 60 and the 100 to 300, and very, very happy so far. Uh, with that being said, this is not going to turn into a tutorial series because I am learning, I'm watching videos right now, how to use, I need to level up on my photography skills. So I'm at the very beginning stage. However, when it comes to firmware updates, that's something that's within my wheelhouse. Love doing you know, tutorials to help. And it's 2023. So uh, in case you happen to come across this camera, you're looking also to get it. I uh, just want to kind of put a video tutorial of how to do this. Um, obviously, you're going to need an SD card to do this. Uh, one thing that I found that some people did is they had a dedicated SD card to do their firmware updates. I'm not saying you need to do it. Uh, I had one laying around. Plus, I have on order uh, the two SD cards that I will use. This camera has two SD card slots. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and get the firmware updated or at least check now, in the video that I shot, I did not go into the settings, but basically you just want to check your app version to find out, you know, what your body version is of the camera, camera body, and then also the lens. And then you can go to the Panasonic website uh, to see what the latest versions are. So pretty self-explanatory in, in that aspect. The one thing that you do need to do is format your SD card. Mine was not. Again, I had in a drawer. Made sure I, I could do that. Uh, in terms of the, the type and size, Again, I would recommend doing your research because that's what I did. So I, I don't want to come on here and say do this because what I found is there are a lot of opinions. So I leave that up to you in terms of what you're going to get. Uh, so once I got it formatted, uh, then basically was taking it to the computer. And then I went on Google, plugged in uh, Panasonic. Uh, I had to go down to the bottom of the page, look on the support, get help, clicked on that. Uh, it took me to another page, and then I clicked on firmware updates. And then I, I believe the next one was the option where I could pick the Lumix. I think it said Lumix G series. And then on the next page, I was presented with the camera body section and then the lens section. So basically, it was just finding my particular model and then looking to see if there was a firmware update. And in my particular case, I had an update for the body and both of the two lenses. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Find out, you know, depending on what computer you have, you know, Mac or Windows, uh, download the appropriate one. Uh, a couple things that I found out. Uh, one, and again, if, if I'm wrong on this, then please, uh, in the comments, correct, but I couldn't find anything else on this. I thought I could just download all three uh, update files and then plug them into the camera and then I would have the option to do all three in my testing I was only able to I, I put the the firmware update for the body and then for a lens and it only updated the body when I tried to do the lens I got some message and I'll, again on post I'll show what that was so what I did was is I went back put the SD card in the computer removed all the installation files then I added just one lens update file um, that worked, and then I went back and did the other one. So uh, that was something that I found. The other thing, too, and this was actually buried in the instructions in terms of the, the process, um, it says you need a fully charged battery to do this. Um, I attempted to do it without a fully charged battery, and I got some kind of a message um, saying that you need to have a fully charged battery. Now, I don't know if you can do this by plugging a cable in. I don't have one, I've got it ordered. So to my knowledge, you do this via an SD card. And then the process is pretty self-explanatory. You know, you pop it back into your computer, go back in there, and then you push the play button on the left-hand side. And then it'll give you the option, you know, uh, it says, I think it says level up or something. And then you just basically sit back. It takes about roughly a minute or so uh, to do the update. It powers off, cycles back on. And then you can go back and check to make sure that it updated to the latest um, firmware. So it's not a very complicated process. Uh, some cool lessons learned from me. And again, I just want to kind of throw this out there to, to help you 
uh, in terms of, you know, saving you a little bit of time in terms of doing the research and trying to read all the instructions. Um, if you want to go deeper diving and read all the stuff on the website, feel free to do so. But uh, again, I hope it helps you out. Now, I'm not trying to avoid your questions, but if you have questions, please understand again, I'm coming from this brand new, so I may not be the person to help you out um, in terms of how to use a camera and those things. Um, you may run into some issues. Again, <laughs> I, I'm not customer support, so I don't know what your situation is. If it's an SD card issue, um, you'll have to do some of those troubleshooting things yourself. But I had no problems. Everything worked out okay. And uh, bottom line, I'm excited to get going and learning and uh, adding some, some new content uh, to the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you do. Uh, have a lot of fun. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. And I hope to catch you in another video. And until then, take care.